Whitney Houston American Singer and Actress Whitney Elizabeth Houston was an American singer, actress, and film producer. Known as The Voice, she is one of the most awarded entertainers and one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with sales of over 220 million records worldwide. Born, August 9, 1963, Newark, New Jersey, United States. Died, February 11, 2012, age 48 years, Beverly Hills, California, United States. Spouse, Bobby Brown, M. 1992-2007. Children, Bobby, Christina Brown. Whitney Elizabeth Houston was born into a musical family on August 9, 1963, in Newark, New Jersey, the daughter of gospel star Sissy Houston, née Emily Lee Drinkard, and John Russell Houston, Jr., and cousin of singing star Dionne Warwick. She began singing in the choir at her church, the New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, as a young child and by the age of 15 was singing backing vocals professionally with her mother on Shaka Khan's 1978 hit, I'm Every Woman. She went on to provide backing vocals for Lou Rawls, Jermaine Jackson, and her own mother and worked briefly as a model, appearing on the cover of Seventeen magazine in 1981. She began working as a featured vocalist for the New York-based funk band Material, and it was the quality of her vocal work with them that attracted the attention of the major record labels, including Arista with whom she signed in 1983 and where she stayed for the rest of her career. Her debut album, Whitney Houston, was released in 1985 and became the biggest-selling album by a debut artist. Several hit singles, including Saving All My Love For You, How Will I Know, You Give Good Love, and The Greatest Love Of All, were released from the album, setting her up for a Beatles beating seven consecutive U.S. number ones. The album itself sold 3 million copies in its first year in the U.S. and went on to sell 25 million worldwide, winning her the first of her six Grammys. The 1987 follow-up album, Whitney, which included the hits Where Do Broken Hearts Go and I Wanna Dance With Somebody, built on her success, but it was the 1992 film The Bodyguard, 1992, that sealed her place as one of the best-selling artists of all time. While the movie itself and her performance in it were not highly praised, the soundtrack album and her cover of the Dolly Parton song I Will Always Love You topped the singles and albums charts for months and sold 44 million copies around the world. That same year she married ex-New Edition singer Bobby Brown, with whom she had her only child, their daughter Bobby Christina Brown, in March 1993. It was about this time that her much-documented drug use began, and by 1996 she was a daily user. Her 1998 album, My Love Is Your Love, was well-reviewed, but the drug abuse began to affect her reputation, and press reports at the time said that she was becoming difficult to work with, if she turned up at all. She was dropped from a performance at the 72nd Annual Academy Awards, 2000, because she was out of it at rehearsals. Her weight fluctuated wildly, she was so thin at a Michael Jackson tribute in 2001 that rumors circulated the next day that she had died and her voice began to fail her. She was twice admitted to rehab and declared herself drug-free in 2010, but returned to rehab in May 2011. Her 2009 comeback album I Look To You was positively received and sold well, but promotional performances were still marred by her weakened voice. Her final acting performance was in Sparkle, 2012, a remake of the 1976 movie, Sparkle, 1976, released after her death. She was found dead in a Beverly Hills hotel room on February 11, 2012. Family Spouse Bobby Brown, July 18, 1992, to April 24, 2007, divorced, one child. Children Bobby Christina Brown Parents Sissy Houston John Russell Houston Jr. Relatives Michael Houston, sibling Gary Houston, half-sibling Dion Warwick, cousin Dee Dee Warwick, cousin Raya Houston, niece or nephew David Elliott, cousin. Damon Elliott, cousin. John Houston III, half sibling. Gary Houston, sibling. Trademark. Powerful mezzo soprano vocals. Her beautiful smile. Trivia. 
because she passed away the night before the 54th Grammy Awards, 2012, the host for the evening, LL Cool J, opened the show with a tribute and a prayer in her honor. One of the last times Whitney Houston was seen on camera was at a rehearsal for Monica and Brandy's performance at Clive Davis's pre-Grammy party. At the time, Brandy did not know that Houston had planned a surprise birthday party for her on the night she passed away. Her mother was at one time a background singer for Elvis Presley. Her powerful rendition of I Will Always Love You, from The Bodyguard, 1992, was ranked number 65 on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 years of the greatest songs. Once, Where Do Broken Hearts Go hit number one in April 1988, she was honored as the first artist in history to ever have seven consecutive Billboard number one singles. An accomplishment that she still holds to this day. The Preacher's Wife, 1996, soundtrack is the best-selling gospel album of all time. The soundtrack also remained at number one for for a record 26 weeks on the Billboard Top Gospel Albums chart. The world's biggest-selling soundtrack is The Bodyguard, 1992, with over 37 million units sold. It also ranks as the best-selling female album of all time. Her daughter Bobby Christina Brown passed away at age 22 on July 26, 2015, having been in a medically induced coma for the past six months after being found unconscious face down in her bathtub, suffered three miscarriages during her relationship with Bobby Brown, in 1991, 1994, and 1996. She earned 14 gold singles in the United States, behind only Madonna among female artists. I Will Always Love You is the best-selling single by a female artist, and the biggest-selling non-charity single of all time, with world sales of nearly 9 million copies. She was a fashion model before she started singing professionally. Her funeral was held at the New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey on Saturday, February 18, 2012. Following services, she was laid to rest beside her father at Fairview Cemetery in Westfield, New Jersey. Multi-Grammy Award-winning singer, has had an unequaled run of seven consecutive number one records, 1980s, in the United States, and held the number one spot on Billboard's Hot 100 for 14 weeks with I Will Always Love You from November 28, 1992 to February 27, 1993. She has a school named after her, 1997, formerly Franklin School, now the Whitney E. Houston School of Creative and Performing Arts in her hometown of East Orange, New Jersey. Her godmother is Darlene Love. Her album Whitney, 1987, became the first female album to debut at number one on the Billboard charts, was snubbed for a Best New Artist Grammy nomination due to the fact that she sang back up on a Jermaine Jackson single before her debut album was released. This caused much controversy since several other nominees in this category, including Led Zeppelin, Asia, and The Knack, were industry veterans, as were some winners, Crosby Stills and Nash and Jody Watley. Holds the record for winning the most American Music Awards, 26 in total, returned to work four months after giving birth to her daughter Bobby Christina Brown in order to participate in the Bodyguard World Tour, performing songs from her debut motion picture The Bodyguard, 1992. While Whitney scored a massive international hit with The Greatest Love of All, by Michael Masser and Linda Creed, she was not the first to record it. That distinction belongs to George Benson, who introduced the song on the soundtrack of the biopic The Greatest, 1977. Delivered her daughter Bobby Christina Brown via emergency caesarean section after a 14-hour labor, cousin of Dionne Warwick and D.D. Warwick. Her family moved from Newark to East Orange, New Jersey, in the wake of rioting in Newark when she was four years old. Chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Favorite movie was Sparkle, 1976. She would later release a remake of the film in 2012 starring Houston herself and Jordan Sparks. It was also unfortunately her last film before passing away. Her last romantic relationship was with Ray J from 2006 to 2007 and again from 2009 to her death in 2012. Quotes. I almost wish I could be more exciting, that I could match what is happening out there to me. I've got a good man. He takes care of me. I don't have to be scared of anything because I know he will kick every ass. Disrespect him and you've got a problem.
God gave me a voice to sing with, and when you have that, what other gimmick is there? I was aware of people staring at me. No one moved. They seemed almost in trance. I just stared at the clock in the center of the church. When I finished, everyone clapped and started crying. I know that I could really kill for my daughter, I know, because I'm living for her, so I'm fierce when it comes down to it. And I feel the same about my husband and my family. I'm just fiercely protective. It's like, that's my lair, and nobody messes with my lair. On the death of Michael Jackson, I am full of grief. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crack, let's get that straight, okay? We don't do crack. We don't do that. Crack is whack. What's black? I've been trying to figure this out since I've been in the business. I don't know how to sing black and I don't know how to sing white, either. I know how to sing. Music is not a color to me. It's an art. Salary. The Preacher's Wife, 1996, $10 million.